Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm Riz and today's awesome video I'm going to show you how you can transfer your WhatsApp data from your iPhone, any iPhone, to your Samsung Android without resetting your Samsung Android. And I'm going to make it extremely simple, okay? You don't have to factory reset your Samsung phone, so let's just dive right into it. And just to be sure, I'm going to be transferring my main WhatsApp account from my iPhone to the Samsung Android phone, okay? Okay, so the first thing you want to do on your Samsung Android phone is to make sure you have something called Samsung's very own, something called Smart Switch. As you can see, I have right there. Now, this comes by default into pretty much all the flagship Samsung phones, okay? But if you don't have that, don't worry about it. All you can do is go to the Play Store. Inside the Play Store, let me just tone down the brightness just a tiny bit so you can actually see better, okay? So if you don't have that, if you don't have the smart switch already on your Samsung phone, you can actually go to the Play Store and download the smart switch. By the way, all the links will be in the description box below, so you don't have to search it manually. Just go to the description box below and click on the smart switch. Okay, once you download the smart switch, don't open it yet, okay? Next up, we need cables. So in this case, as you can see, this comes this comes a standard in iPhone box, okay? If you have this, you can actually use this, or you can just buy these uh, or you can just buy these off of Amazon. You can actually do that as well as you can see these both works It doesn't matter what cable you use next up What we're gonna be doing is to connecting these both through the cable. Okay, so let's do that My apologies about the mess. I know it's pretty bad first up put the cable into the iPhone. Okay Next up what you're gonna do is to put the cable into your Samsung phone as you can see Okay, so once you connect both of these through the cable we just did that now, it's pretty simple, but before we actually jump into the actual transferring, I really want to show you something. Go to your WhatsApp map, go to your WhatsApp and into the settings, okay? Click on the settings. Now, inside the settings, you want to go into the chat. You have to make sure that you have backed up before doing anything. So, into the chat, just click on backup now. This is really, really important, okay? So that way, so that way, it doesn't matter what we do, the backup the backup will be there to save us, okay? Now, once you've done the backup, next up what you wanna do is to make sure that both of them are actually connected to the cable. And now we're gonna do is to open the Smart Switch app that we just downloaded. As you can see right there, all you have to do is just open it up. Once you open it up, once you open it up, you have two different options, okay? So select the second one. We want to receive data on this phone, so just tap on it. Now, next up, what you need to do is to tap on the iPhone. Obviously, we have the iPhone. Now, it will show you to get connected, okay? Now, once you get connected, you will get the notification on your... Now, this is the screen that you will be seeing, okay? Really simple. Again, if you need any help, just comment down below. I'll be there to help you out, okay? Now, once you get this screen, you really want to make sure that you have, you have trust. So, again, just enter your passcode into your passcode. Once you enter your passcode, it will ask you for a face ID as well. So make sure you are make sure you are in frame for it. Okay. Next up, once you complete all the security checkups, you want to click on next. Now this is where the transfer screen will happen. Okay. As you can see, it's saying 81% transfer. Okay. Just let it do its thing. And once you do, once you get on this screen, right? You have to make sure that you're not selected. You're not selecting anything else. In this case, I'll just to select everything just we want to do the apps just tap on the apps as you can see right there and uh, and click transfer as you can see once you do that it will ask you to sign in on your google account so just tap on the sign in really simple as you can see just select your id i'll just select my id and we're just selecting all the apps that are connected on my iPhone, okay? Now, once you get this screen, once you get this screen, you really want to deselect everything else, okay? We don't want anything else, we just want the WhatsApp. Click on the WhatsApp manager, okay? Next up, what you need to do is to just, yeah, you just want the WhatsApp and click install, okay? Once you click install, you will get this QR code. Pretty simple, again, you want to drop, you want to just put it down, and on your iPhone, you want to open up the camera. Let me just on your iPhone, you want to do is to open up the camera. Once you open up the camera, just search. Let me just select the photos. <laughs> yeah, on your iPhone, just tap on the barcode and go to the and go to your WhatsApp. It will automatically take you there. Okay. Now, once you get this screen, again, really simple. All you have to do is just click on Start, 
And as you can see, it's getting sorted. Now this will take a couple seconds and this will actually, this will take a couple minutes depending on how big your chat is. In this case, this is my primary account and it will take a couple minutes, okay? So I'll be back. You don't have to do anything. Don't unplug anything, okay? So just wait for it, wait for it to finish up. As you can see, it's taking quite a bit of time. As you can see, we are at 4%, so just do it, let it do its thing, okay? And I'll be right back. And by the way, quick note, as you can see, we are at about as you can see, we're at about 10% and just wanted to show you that this should be on your Android smartphone and this should be on your Samsung phone. As you can see, it's getting the chats ready, okay? Just put it down, put both of these down and let it do its thing and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, so this might happen. It might ask your iPhone, might ask you to enter your passcode. So you wanna do that. So let me just type in the code once you do that. As you can see, once you do that, it will ask you to continue on to your Android phone. Now, this is where things get a little bit tricky, okay? As you can see, iPhone is saying that it doesn't have any more, uh, it doesn't have anything to do anymore. So, you have to make sure that you don't disconnect the cable, okay? Don't disconnect your cable from your iPhone, as you can see, and it will automatically transfer, okay? So, this is the screen where it's really risky at the moment. Do not disconnect your cable, let it do its thing, and you can actually make sure that the screen is on by tapping right there. That way, the whole screen will not turn off until the transferring is done. So let's just wait for it, and let me show you how it's done, okay? <clears throat> okay, so it's pretty com pretty complete. Took about 19 minutes for me, okay? Now, do not disconnect the cable immediately, okay? This is just to be on the safe side. It has one item, one app. As you can see, we don't have much to do on the iPhone, so let's just put it down. Back to the Samsung Android. Now, next up, what you need to do, click on the next option. As you can see, it says all set, and it's asking for, it says all set, and it's talking about iCloud and keyboard layout. You don't have to worry about any of that. Just click on done. Once you click on done, all you have to do is to open your WhatsApp. In this case, just tap on your WhatsApp. This should something look something like this, okay? Now, now you can actually just disconnect the cable, okay? Next up, just treat the WhatsApp as you normally treat, okay? Click continue. Now, this is where you'll add your phone number, okay? Make sure it's the same phone number as your iPhone was. Make sure your phone number is correct. This mine is correct. Once you do that, it will ask you it will actually request a code. As you can see, it's requesting a code as we speak. Once it's asking for a code, as you can see, it's asking for the code from your other WhatsApp. Now, in this case, all you have to do is to open your iPhone, and as you can see, you actually have the code, okay? Now, what you need to do is just type in the code. Once you type in the code, as you can see, it's asking, and it's asking for the PIN as well. If you have set the PIN, which I have, in this case, I'll just type in the PIN. If you have set the PIN, just you have to type in the PIN, okay, along with the code. We just put the code in, and we're just putting in the uh, PIN. Now, as you can see, it's asking for a couple permissions. Now, in this case, just click allow, click allow, click allow, and there you go. This this is the screen where you should be happy, okay? This is asking for me to import the chat history. This means that the backup, the transfer was successful. We got the WhatsApp from the iPhone, okay? Click start, and it will automatically import your chat from your iPhone to your new Android, new Samsung Android. In this case, as you can see, it's pretty simple. Just give it a couple seconds. As you can see, it's importing. Now, again, by the way, since we're waiting, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you find this video helpful. And if you need any help, just comment down below. I'll get back to you as quick as I possibly can, okay? Now, this is screen. It might take a couple minutes, so just give it a couple minutes. Don't worry about it, okay? Just let it do its thing. It's actually importing the it's actually importing the data that we just got from the iPhone. So let's let it do its thing, okay? Don't do anything else. Don't close up the WhatsApp or anything. So let's just let's just wait for it, okay? Okay, so this took about nine minutes for me, and uh, it all depends on how big your data actually is. It, this might take uh, this might not take this much long for you, but yeah, if it takes, don't worry about it. Just be patient, okay? Let it do its thing. I'm just almost done. As you can see, we're at 99%. Okay, as you can see, it says import complete. This is this is where you'll just take a sigh of relief. Okay, <laughs> click next. 
as you can see it will just bring back your uh, DP that you had you might have to enter your name again so I'll just type in my name in this case I was just I'd have to type in your name again as you can see I just did that click next it says connecting and it says finishing up okay now this is where it says you want to back up your data just like we did on the iPhone okay if you're using the Google account you can select your Google account in this case I'll just select my Google account my main Google account once you do that just wait for it click OK okay so as you can see I've selected my main Google account next up you want to select your daily backups which is daily is really good I don't use the uh, videos so yeah and to end backup turn on yeah, that is. I want to turn on the uh, encryption, so just have to might you might have to set up the password to enter your password. Just click on create, and it will create your end-to-end -end encrypt encrypted backup, which is really super super important. Next up, what you want to do is to click done for a pin. That's just we did that. Once you put the pin in, you will get all your chats, and voila, it's pretty it's pretty cool. It's done pretty cool right now let me show you what it says on the iPhone okay now on your iPhone as you can see now if you open up the WhatsApp this will be the screen that you will see on your iPhone as you can see it says we are logged out and we're not you know tame anymore but if you want to link again I'll show you in a bit but if you want to link again but you don't want to move everything over to the iPhone obviously you want to do is to click login in this case you don't really have to enter your pass um, you really don't have to put your phone number in since we're not moving back to your iPhone we're linking to it so if you tap on the top right if you tap on this top right option you will get the link as a companion device okay tap on that and it will give you the barcode. Now, in this case, all you have to do is on your phone. Okay, so on your WhatsApp, you want to do is to tap on this right there, and you should be able to see something called linked devices. Okay, right there. Just tap on the linked devices right there. All you have to do is to take out your iPhone. You have to do is to link a device, and you have to scan it. Well, let me just let me just ask for the permissions. And once you scan it, as you can see, I'm scanning it, and uh, as you can see, it's logging in. There you go. It's pretty pretty cool, right? See, you got all your chats back to your, you got all your chats back to your iPhone. That's pretty much it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll definitely help you out. Okay, I'm Riz, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.